Happy Friday, everyone. We made it to the end of the week and today likely the hottest day of the year so far. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 90s for some areas, so it's going to be pretty toasty out there. Thing is, we've got a big change to the forecast on the way and we got a hint of it last night. We had some thunderstorms rolling on through, even some thunderstorms early this morning. Plenty of strikes of lightning in parts of northern Klamath County, a little bit of Douglas in Lake County involved in that as well. And then last night in southern parts of Jackson County, northern Siskiyou County, we saw some potential lightning strikes out there as well. So the main concern with this, of course, is it's May going into June. We are in fire season for many counties involved, many counties on the screen. So the concern there is the potential for thunderstorms striking new fires, starting new fires. Luckily, we're seeing some shower activity with these lightning strikes. And as we go through the day today into tomorrow, going to continue to see that potential. Today, for the most part, we're in this little dry zone between systems right now. We've got the low pressure system that's really going to affect us off to the south. Doesn't look like a whole lot, but this will build in quite a bit. And then a low pressure trough right here. This combination, this trough right here, and then a big ridge right here is actually keeping us very warm through the course of the day today. High pressure is going to be in control. Hot, sunny, dry today and uh, for tomorrow, low pressure moves in. Essentially the opposite. This will take the place of the high pressure and that brings us decent potential for some thunderstorms. With those thunderstorms, heavy rainfall possible, gusty winds and small hail. So it's going to get pretty stormy tomorrow. We're looking at a decent amount of rainfall in terms of our area. Some areas over an inch of rainfall, which we normally don't see an entire inch for the month of May. So it'll be good to see in terms of that, but it is a lot of rain in a short amount of time. And it looks a little something like this. So go through the day today for your Friday. Outside of adding some clouds later today should be dry conditions, not much potential of thunderstorms until later tonight. But for the most part, not too bad. And I say that, but then it's also going to be very hot this afternoon. So staying aside a good idea because of the temperatures today and a good idea because of the thunderstorms tomorrow. Let's go through the day Saturday, eventually into Saturday afternoon. That's very active storm activity. You can see they're moving through our area. The yellows, the oranges, that's heavier rainfall. And this is just in the course of a few hours. So keep on going through Saturday into Sunday morning. All of that just as quickly as it approached starts to move on out and we'll start to warm back up and clear out the skies towards Monday and Tuesday. In terms of rainfall, as I mentioned, it's a decent amount, but most of that arriving, let's start at 5 a.m. for example, and just go to about 5 p.m. or so. As we head later into the day, eventually into Sunday morning, a lot of rain in a short amount of time. Some areas of Jackson County could see over an inch of rainfall. Projections up to two inches, but more likely around an inch of rainfall for some of those areas. A little less as you head east of the Cascades, but still a quarter inch of rainfall. It's a pretty good amount for May. Checking out the coast. Becoming cloudy as the day goes on. We do have some fog early temperatures mainly in the 60s, so a little cooler than yesterday. Chance of thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. A very hot day for the West Valleys, but with that, the potential of thunderstorms building up. That's mainly later tonight into tomorrow. Small hail, lightning, heavy rain, gusty winds all associated with that. Temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. And east of the Cascades also getting into the 90s for some areas that are usually closer to about 70 degrees. Sunny to start, then cloudy, and a slight chance of those thunderstorms continuing this evening. Checking out your seven day forecast, it looks pretty active, but for the most part, Sunday and Monday should be calmer days. Just this occasional potential for some showers moving through. It's really Saturday morning into the early afternoon that we're watching for that potential right there. Also, that chance of storms late on Friday. But look at that drop in temperatures, about 30 degrees. Continue later into next week, start to calm things down. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, looking almost perfect for the first few days of June. Checking out the Klamath Basin, that's the trend as well. Thunderstorms over the course of the weekend, best potential will be Saturday, and then we clear things things out towards next week. A big drop in temperatures here as well. Northern California from the 90s to the 60s as we head into Saturday and Sunday with plenty of potential of thunderstorms again mainly on Saturday and out on the coast. Not as much potential for thunderstorms. It is out there, but plenty of potential for showers an inch or two possible for some areas Saturday and Sunday and then we'll start to calm things down and clear things out towards next week.